Lauren, happy birthday. Thank you. 93. Uh, minute. <laughs> uh, I, I call BS on that. I know better than that. Uh, so, uh, happy birthday. And, and uh, here it is. Here we go. Um, you're eight. Time flies when you're having fun. And, um, you know, it's a, uh, it's a great opportunity um, in, uh, get this season started with a new group and a lot of fresh faces. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, <clears throat> very nice, we had great news this week to have Tommy finally cleared. Um, you know, that's been kind of the, you know, the elephant in the room is, is getting that, uh, the, that final piece done. So big thanks to our compliance staff for their excellent work. Uh, Orlando, uh, just being day to day, uh, very diligent. In his efforts with that and uh, you know it was great to see him on the court no miss game uh, two drastically different scrimmages um, but I think they're uh, they're both informative and, and, and very very educational in terms of learning um, <clears throat> obviously one at home one on the road um, played 11 guys in, in each of those didn't get real in depth in scouting, didn't scout at all the first one. Uh, just tried personnel, uh, made very few changes in either one of them uh, that we would probably do in a normal game. Uh, but uh, yeah, working on co combinations, we had some guys that kind of flip-flopped, played good in one and not so good in another. And, and um, you know, it's uh, everything with this group is gonna be very educational, a lot of first times. Uh, a lot of first times for guys putting on a uniform, playing in front of a crowd. A lot of them first times for playing in the United States. Um, so good to get that out of the way. Um, now it's um, you know an Eastern team that uh, is extremely well coached. Uh, <coughs> I have a few guys back from last year's uh, from last year's game. Uh, so you know we'll be uh, we know we're getting a team that's going to play extremely hard. They're one of the top teams and in their conference and for some turnovers. Uh, they've got a guy who had a double-double against us last year. Um, you know, so they're, um, they're gonna be well coached. Marty does an incredible job of preparing his teams and uh, they're quick, they're athletic. Um, you know, and again, defensively, uh, be a great, great challenge. Uh, as we uh, turned it over a bunch against Ole Miss, we did not in the Butler. Uh, but we'll see a lot of uh, athleticism and quickness with uh, with Eastern. <coughs> Brad, what did you want to emph emphasize in practice this week, and how did that ultimately go just with the team getting ready? Yeah, I think we were trying to find some grit and, and some bite on the defensive side. I thought we were uh, uh, very passive um, on the ball. Um, you know, I think we have the, the ability to have Draven and and uh, and, 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 and Kylan and uh, Trey White and guys like that that can just really get after the basketball. We were just really passive. Obviously, they're five men in a bunch of threes in the Ole Miss one, but we made no adjustments for a reason. Um, but uh, um, yeah, we just we've got to be better, gritty and grimy and nasty on the ball and tougher and um, you know and then you know just careless turnovers uh, we played too fast after makes if that makes sense and, and we just committed some egregious turnovers which I think they had 18 points and live ball turnovers which is uh, an egregious amount but uh, uh, you know we emphasize that and we'll see if that's better tomorrow it's obviously a small sample size, just the one scrimmage, one exhibition, but what more do you know about your team now than you did day one of practice, I guess, in September? Well, I, I think that uh, I think it's a good shooting team, has the ability to be a really good shooting team. I think we, we felt very comfortable with that. I think we have a lot of pieces. Uh, we're still trying to, you know, to figure out all the, the right moves uh, and, the, and the right fits. Um, been very, very pleased with the way guys have been, have improved. Uh, really, in the last week, we've made some, made, had some guys made, make some major jumps. 
Um, but um, you know, I think it's 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 been um, it's now time to put fans and be in another new experience tomorrow in front of our home fans and sell our crowd and and uh, you know play a home game. Uh, so it's you know it's time to start putting some of those things together and seeing again how guys react. But I think we've been I think we've been improving and been pretty good. It seemed like KJ had a lot of uh, ball handling um, opportunities. Do you think he's somebody that wants to step up and lead this offense just at 18 years old? He's done it his whole life. You know, it's not something he's he's new at. He's done it his whole life. He's a he's a terrific passer. He's a great facilitator. Um, you know, he's uh, uh, you know he's as gifted a young guy in ball screens as. As, as anybody we've had for sure, but uh, maybe it's out there. He's just, you know, he's big, he's 6'6", six, six and 5'2", two, 2'10", two, and uh, yeah, he's, is he gonna make some mistakes? Absolutely, are we gonna live with him? Absolutely. Uh, is he gonna grow? Absolutely. And is he really good? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, sorry about that. How much will you be looking for veterans, guys that have played a lot of college basketball to, to step up early? Maybe lead the way for the young guys who are, are in a new territory. Yeah, absolutely, a ton. Um, experience, you know, it doesn't matter where you're at. Um, you know, we have a group of guys, Ben, um, Trey, Kylan, that have, have those three guys, Kerry, four guys, that have all played in college games. Uh, that experience isn't with us, but it's college basketball experience. It's playing in great environments, playing against really good competition, seeing different schemes and different defenses. Um, it's their knowledge, it's their understanding that, that we, we're going to lean on. Uh, we can't make decisions for them. You know, we, I think our team has an ability to be a very, very quick problem solver. We've got some very high IQ guys, um, but uh, leadership is, uh, and experience is a, is a valuable piece for us. With uh, Tommy getting cleared, what kind of versatility uh, does his skill set bring to the lineup? Well, he's 7'1", 260. You know, we'll start at the defensive side. He's got length. He's a very smart player. Um, you know, he's, a, he's an imposing. He can, he can be a wall. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, guys. He can be a wall um, and, and, you know, rebound. And he's had some big rebounding games throughout his career. Offensively, you know, he's a he's a buffet line. You know, he, he can pass it. He can he can step out and shoot threes. Uh, he's been percentage wise a very very effective player uh, shooting it. Uh, you know, he's a guy that can go right hand left hand in the post. Uh, but uh, you know, his versatility we hope causes other teams problems. And and uh, you know, then on, on the other side of it, he's a very very good runner. He finds easy baskets because of his. His, his ability to run. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited about his uh, his upside and being able to do some different things with him. Heard a number of times that the adjustment <coughs> for Europeans to the U.S. game is it's quote more physical. Uh, how do you see that playing out? How do you help them, if if at all, in that? I think it's just the opposite. I think it's much less physical. I think I think what's one of the issues we've had to dial down is is the physicality, especially at the guard spot. You watch a lot of Euro League games. And they just grab you, and they're, there's they don't set, they don't call illegal screens. They don't do uh, a lot of that over there. And, and um, you know, it's been one of the things that we've worked very, very hard on uh, with both those guys uh, is to uh, uh, not foul. Uh, now, in, the, in on the other side of things, KJ, uh, you know, he could be one of those guys that could be one of the top guys in the conference, and in, in foul draw, he gets fouled. Uh, a, a ton. He draws a lot of fouls. He always has. He's been a high free throw attempt guy throughout his Euro League career uh, and his, his European experience. So, um, yeah, we you know there's adjustments. It's just been um, a little bit different. As you said, Coach Marty's teams do tend to turn teams over quite a bit. Is, it, is that a good first matchup for you when sure. you, know, you know when your biggest Thing you want to work on is cleaning those up. Yeah, I you know in, in our, it's crazy because I, against Butler, we didn't. You know that was we had I think for as long as we scrimmaged I think we had seven. Uh, we just didn't. Um, so 
Yeah, you know, you got you got to have ball protection, light ball turnovers, and most of them were in transition. Most of them were just real careless. But uh, uh, you know, they do a great job of raking. Uh, they're in gaps. Uh, they're going to make make catch and passes hard. Um, so, you know, they play in a lot of rotation. Uh, you know, they're going to um, uh, you know get after ball screens and do some things there. So, yeah, protecting the ball and 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 being uh, having a little pride in taking care of that ball is something that uh, we've talked a lot about here uh, since Ole Miss. I mean, you talk about the defense, maybe you want just a little more aggressive. You know, since that Ole Miss loss, like, have you seen practice be maybe a little more intense between the players? Yeah, we finally got really, really competitive, right? You know, we, we still haven't had a fight in practice yet, which, you know, that's disappointing. But, um, <laughs> you know, it's, 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 uh, uh, that's probably not happening in today's world too much, but um, just getting after people, making somebody better, making the guy you're guarding better, but knowing you still love him and you're still a teammate. Those are all things that that uh, um, we've seen this week, and you know, and, and and I think Draven, I think I think you know Bam, Kylan, uh, we call him Bam. So I think those guys can be solely Bam can be the best on ball defender in college basketball. He's so strong. He's so powerful, uh, and you know he should never get over, never have a problem getting over a ball screen with his strength. Uh, you know, I, I, I personally think he'd be one of the best we've ever had at it, and we've had some darn good ones. So, um, just being able to do that, put put a little pressure, take a little comfort, play with our hands better. You know, we were, a, my goodness, we. We work on a drill every day, closeouts, throwing our hands up, and we didn't even put our hands up at Ole Miss. I think we were so nervous and uptight that um, we just forgot. But uh, just little things like that, and, and uh, that's game slippage, and we had a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, minus the walk-ons, you played 11 games <coughs> at, at Ole Miss. Uh, do you still plan to keep rotation that big or tighten it up a little bit? Good question. I'm going to play to win this one. Um, I didn't give, I don't want to say I didn't give two rips. I, I was going to play 11 guys in, in those two scrimmages and in each half. I was going to play guys. And I needed to figure a few things out. Uh, when you're playing to win, uh, you keep your best five and at, at that time on the court as much as you can and whatever helps you, you do that. So uh, we'll see what that rotation looks like. And uh, uh, maybe it is. Um, I think we're a little bit deeper, but uh, we're going to, we're going to try to put the right five out there. You mentioned earlier playing a little too fast off makes, but is there times where you do want this team to play faster and push the pace a little bit? What do you emphasize as far as that goes? Yeah, I mean, we're, we've always been an under seven seconds um, team, uh, in particular off misses. I think one of the things that that we, we've we got a great group in uh, Draven, um, Kyla, Trey White's exceptional. Um, Ty Rogers, I think all those guys are elite defensive rebounding and pushing in transition. Ben is another one that we we want to do that. Um, but if we don't have it, then we've got to we've got to be able to to flow quickly into offense. And uh, you know, we just threw cross court bounce passes in transition and fumbled the ball off our knee and uh, some some crazy ones. But uh, yeah, you you. We want this team to play with tempo. We want to shoot threes when we're open, and it's a strength of ours. This is the third <coughs> of the season that you've started against the IU. Is that just going to be a, a thing from now on? How do you get maybe that game scheduled every year? Well, I think we know the AD. I think we feel pretty good about uh, the fact that uh, he's one of us. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a guy that uh, obviously we, we're uh, excited about. The games, games. Uh, um, you know, so good for them, so good for us. It's close. It's uh, um, I'm a I'm a big fan of of Marty's. Obviously, Jeff Alexander worked for him, so there's a huge connection there as well. And those are the type of games that you you know you like you like helping your people out and and helping friends out. And um, and then the other side of it, we know that we're running into a team that's going to be very disciplined and and um, and extremely well coached. So. Uh, great challenge for us. Thomas Love looked awfully good against Ole Miss. Um, why is it a big deal that he is eligible? And, and what's kind of his ceiling for you this year? 
Well, I think you just said it. He's pretty good. <laughs> Um, I, you know what, I think his ceiling's as high as he can make it. I think it's, every night's a learning experience. And, you know, I asked him the other, the other day, I said, how did, uh, how'd you feel out there? And, and uh, you know, he goes, oh, it was fun, coach, it was fun. And uh, I, I said, were you nervous? And he said, not anymore. And he goes, first game in America, I was a little bit nervous, you know, I'm trying to Put a deep eastern accent on that i can't do it with cold but um he is hilarious but he has fun playing he's he got through some of the anxiety of that uh against a really good team and uh, you know i think he's got a got a chance to be a, a terrific player you talked about exploring combos you know against Ole Miss we saw kj Kylan and uh, Dre out there at one time. Uh, you talk about positional size, but do you like having three guards? How have you seen that? Yeah, that's why we had to look at it. I'm, I'm you know, I think there's times you're going to see that. I, there's no doubt. I think, I think, I think one of the great things about KJ, and we talk a lot about his offense, is, is, you know, as a freshman, he may be as good defensively as any freshman guard we've had. Um, he's positionally very smart. He's so strong. Um, and uh, you know we've we've we we can really get after people with those three out there. Uh, you know Draven was exceptional. Draven played so well against uh, Old Miss, and um, it was nice to see him get going offensively. And we know that he's capable of that. So uh, I think that's a you know, I think those are three guys you can see out there some, and and uh, yet uh, you know we've got to make sure we got the right fours and, and front court guys out there as well. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow night. Mm -hmm.